How you doing? You got Jeff Plitt here, and I've got hot takes on the news, as always. So strap in, because this is what you need to know. Stick around to the end to find out what this means. Now, let's dive right in with one-liner news. The Trump administration is sabotaging the Postal Service, causing delays everywhere. But don't worry, men. Trump has assured us that your brides will still be delivered on time. AMC Movie Theaters is reopening for the first time during the pandemic, offering tickets for just 15 cents. Popcorn will still be $6,000. Trump recently asked the governor of South Dakota what the process is to get his face added to Mount Rushmore. Face it, Donald, the only way you're ever going to Mount Rushmore is if Putin sends you a Russian prostitute named Rushmore. Major League pitcher Reese McGuire got caught masturbating in his car at a strip club. Apparently, when the police questioned him, he said he was just working on his knuckleball. Jackass star Steve-O duct taped himself to a Hollywood billboard to promote his latest project, which is called Gnarly. The title refers to what his skin will look like when all the duct tape is ripped off. And realizing it's the perfect stunt to reach America's youth, Biden is doing the same thing. Joe Biden was insulted on Twitter this week by none other than the recently deceased Herman Cain. I mean, the only thing stranger than being a black Trump supporter is being a zombie black Trump supporter. Russia has announced a coronavirus vaccine, despite having skipped the phase three testing recommended by Russia's top doctors. We've actually obtained footage of Putin talking to those doctors. Fight! Look, Putin's a maverick, okay? He went straight to phase four. That's where you declare with no evidence that the vaccine is a huge success. Then for phase five, you convince Trump to purchase 300 million doses of this miracle cure. Finally, phase six, all Americans are dead and Russia has its revenge for Ivan Drago and Rocky IV. Oh, President Trump is pushing to weaken showerhead water efficiency standards, claiming he can't wash his beautiful hair properly. I'm afraid to find out what Trump's hair looks like when it is washed properly. In an effort to be more culturally sensitive, NASA will stop using names like Eskimo Nebula and Siamese Twins Galaxy. And that's fine, but please don't rename Jupiter. It's all we've got. The FDA has approved a saliva-based COVID-19 test. The way it works is, you spit into a vial, send it by first-class mail to a lab, and within three short decades, you get your results. The world's first Godzilla museum just opened in Japan, and you can even ride a zipline straight into the monster's mouth, and then bounce off, because even Godzilla wears a mask these days. Oh, I'm getting an update. The museum has just been destroyed by Godzilla. The NBA rules for maintaining their bubble against coronavirus have an interesting stipulation, no Tinder randoms. Apparently the rule was added by the Union NBA Wives Association. And now what you've been waiting for, the main story. Senator Kamala Harris made headlines this week when Joe Biden announced her as his running mate. In her first speech as the VP nominee, Harris said the title Vice President will be great, but her family nickname Mamala means even more. She then added, and my husband is excited to be the country's first popula. Voters are saying Kamala invigorates Biden's candidacy with youthful energy and a female perspective, giving the ticket new superpowers. In fact, they've already picked their Halloween costumes. Sarah Palin even came out of the woodwork to give Kamala some advice in an Instagram post this week, saying, trust no one new. Of course, for Sarah Palin, who famously couldn't name a single newspaper she reads, everybody is new. Robert Mueller? Never heard of him. Sounds like a nice guy. Trump's senior advisor, Jenna Ellis, said Kamala Harris sounds like March Simpson, which she doesn't at all, so March herself fired back. I usually don't get into politics, but the president's senior advisor just said Kamala Harris sounds like me. I'm starting to feel a little disrespected, Jenna. I mean, how can you make such an off-base Simpsons reference when your boss, the president, was literally on the show? Not now, I'm on Twitter. Oh, and put my name on the Lincoln Memorial, make Chris Christie eat a worm just for laughs, disband NATO and make me some scrambled eggs and a gold plate. You know, it's funny. Jenna sounds like someone, but I, I can't place it. Getting back to the Constitution and that our rights are inalienable and they're protected from God. Protected from God? I guess she means protected by God. But they're not, Jenna. That's why we wrote the Constitution and created the government, so our rights wouldn't be trampled by authoritarians like your boss. Oh, I just realized who she sounds like. A moron. Yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed this, please like, follow, share, comment. Really, you could click anything on the page and I'll be happy. And I'll see you next time on What You Need to Know.